So on today's episode of Technodad, we're going to be starting up our server and then hopefully adding in a operating system of some type. And so let's see what happens. Okay, so first startup. So we're everything hopefully is hooked up and we're going to start the computer, see what happens. So lights on, so that's good. Uh, nothing's happening on the monitor, so let's check that just to make sure. Monitor is on, nothing is happening. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna troubleshoot a little bit. Uh, I know all the cables are hooked up, so why don't we take this apart? I really do think this is the power supply. So what we'll do is we'll open this up and take a look inside here. Okay, so I sent away, or actually I didn't send away, I just went on Amazon and I bought one of these hard drive, or not hard drive, power supply testers. So far, so good, looks pretty good. Oh, I'll turn it the other way. Uh, it came with these fancy directions. Basically, you turn it on, if it beeps a lot, it doesn't work. If it just beeps twice, then it does work. Uh, if it does work, I should see the voltage and everything else on here. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I have the hard drive tester in place. You can see I've attached it already. And so now what we're going to do, we're going to see what it says. And so basically the directions here say that if a certain voltage is not detected, it will do 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 long buzzer or it will flicker then the power supply is failed so let's see what happens whoops let me plug this in here we'll hold it up here so you can barely see it okay so we plug it, plug it in If you can see this but it's showing all L's so I think the power supply is dead so I'm gonna find a new power supply supply uh, when I did look it up on power supplies uh, you know what we would need it actually was not enough I don't even know how it ran before but it was just barely enough to run everything that was in here uh, and now uh, adding a few extra extra hard drive and some more memory and a network card it was definitely not enough for that so it actually holds the electricity for pretty long so it's unplugged I unplugged it a few seconds ago so so definitely we're going to order a new power supply and that will be the next part of this project so i thought i'd just quickly show you why our power supply burned out so here we are in a power supply calculator i'll leave the link in the description below i've already put in all our information for this computer it's pretty simple then you just click calculate here and you can see the recommended minimum power supply is actually 363 watts our power supply was only 250 uh, so probably when we turned it on, it, we just basically burned it out. So our next step is to order a new power supply. So that was today's episode. And as you can see, building your own computer out of used parts sometimes doesn't work out so well. But so far we have spent, uh, I think, $40 on the RAM. And otherwise, everything else has been free. So that's pretty good so far. Uh, we're going to be investing in a new power supply and my wife says that I have to spend as little money as possible so we're going to find the cheapest power supply that actually fits our needs for this computer. And so we'll see you all next time. Make sure you like and subscribe down below and you have a great day and happy Easter.